guys have operational staff or administrative staff. Some of you guys have people doing marketing. And you know, for a long time, I hired all these people. And sometimes they were contractors, sometimes they were full-time. And I sort of expected them to do well. And I, and I had this expectation that they were going to succeed and they were going to be able to help run the company and help run their department and their division. And you know, now I will say that I have a much more sort of pessimistic view of it. You know, I think it, I w it really takes a long time to hire good people. And so if you think about it, like when it's just you running the business, you get your LinkedIn account set up, you reach out to people, oh, you, you get an appointment, you sign a client, that can all happen in like five days, right? And then you can deliver that client, you can have a great client that's paying you in like five days. But just hiring a human being, I mean, you can't even get somebody hired in five days. And then once you get that person hired, they're not going to start for two weeks because they might have to quit their job, especially if they're somebody good, right? They're a lot of times going to quit their job. And then they have to get trained. That's going to take at least a week, maybe two weeks. And then they have to like struggle for like a month to like figure out what's going on. And then they might not even work out, right? <laughs> so it's like, you know, it, I think when you, a lot of you guys are at that stage where you're, it's just been you and you're so good at what you do and you're so powerful at all the different stages. Um, but when you start to build out the team, I think it's a much longer term problem to solve. And so like I really have switched my thinking to just assuming that all of these things are gonna be, they're gonna perform at a mediocre level for quite some time. They're not gonna be great. Like clients are gonna quit, like sales are gonna be lost, like meetings are gonna have problems. So at any point in time in here, like I, I, would, I would encourage you guys to think about when we talk about what we're about to talk about with 2019, to think about it almost like two separate businesses. Like you've got the one business, which is like the business that you're kind of building here, and that's like the, the secondary business that is gonna have like staff and gonna have a team, and it's gonna have like production, and it's gonna have like sales and profit and margins, and that's, that's your people are working on it. But then you should also have like your own business that you're responsible for. And even if this thing breaks even, or even if this thing loses money, you're still gonna figure out a way to make enough money in your own business with your own stuff, whether it's tax plans on top, or whether it's doing some of your own clients, or something, upselling existing clients to make it work. Because when you go through a growth period or when you hire people for the first time, it's just not gonna work right out of the gates. Like, you don't know how to hire. You know, it's like I told Amanda when we first got this office this year, which is really when I would consider us actually having like a real company. In the first four months, we had so many problems culturally. I mean, just like really bad cultural problems. And I was like, you know, remember, some of you guys were here in the first like four months of Next Level Firms. I think Preston was there in the first four months of Next Level Firms. That was pretty bad too, right? I mean, it was, it was pretty bad and it was pretty cringy. And we're not gonna go back and look at any of that because it would make you feel uncomfortable, right? Because like the first four months you do anything, you're just shit at it. And so I think when you go out there, like don't have this expectation that you're gonna be able to hire the accountants or the tax people and they're gonna be able to build the business and run it without you there. Like, I just don't see that being something that's realistic in a short period of time. Um, so when we think about these goals for 2019, which I wanna go through in detail right now, I would really encourage you guys to think about it like that. And just assume that, you know, when you hire these people, 50% of them are not gonna work out. The other piece of it is too, and Raquel brought this up, it's good to think about being totally ready to fire people. You know, Amanda has done almost all the interviews for the people we've hired at the company. 50% of people that she interviews, the last company had either layoffs or the company went out of business, right? So the idea that you might have to fire people, and that's just par for the course, right? So I think a lot of times we're like afraid to commit to all these people, but if you commit to all these people and then they don't work out or you can't grow the business or something happens, you can't fire them. That's what everybody else does, right? That's where all these people are coming from. So it's not necessarily something to be afraid of, but to do these numbers, you guys are gonna have to build a team and a culture, and I think if you really think about what we're about to go through this morning, like you should start it soon. You know, whether you have, I know a lot of people signed office space, have office space, have a team already, um, but I really, really wish I would have started to think about building out the team.